Uh, what's good, guys? Your main man, Master Cell here. Leave a nice little round table company wants to scratch it to spin. Uh, my videos this entire week has been me very tired. Also in pain. The job has been kicking my ass this week. I ain't gonna lie to you. And since it got cold as fuck out of nowhere, my body's been sore as hell. I'm gonna say that every video today, but my video's been subpar this week. My bad. Today is Dr. Stone with the calm before the storm, even though at the end of the episode the sun rose. But we are indeed approaching the quote unquote final battle. At least that's what they say. Because, like, we're not even halfway through the season yet. <laughs> but the name of the next episode is Total War. So, if it is a war, and as war arcs goes in animes, yeah, this, this, this might take a few episodes. Or the rest of the episodes. What am I talking about? We already had the Star Wars once before. But this episode was pretty much us gearing up for this battle. And one major thing that we did in this episode was indeed create a gun. Now, the atmosphere for this moment was like the tone was very well set. Sinku so straight up saying how he's going to hell for this. Making the creation of something that is only, only going to turn heads. Used for good or evil. Tools down the line. The guns. And as we approach the war arc, what else could be running to people's minds? Especially the people from an old world that knows about guns. Even though Sinku made it very apparent how dangerous this is by him talking about how we're going to be able to shoot this thing. However, we gotta remind ourselves, despite Dr. Stone indeed being able to go there when necessary, this is still Dr. Stone. Not only was the tone set here killed by typical Dr. Stone antics, they took it one step further, where Sinku was basically just being like, actually we can't even use this as actual guns, it's just a freaking tracker master. Just throwing this type of thing up in the first place may lead to bad things down the line, yes. However, this whole time, he was just like, like, Real guns? That what you thought? Sinku's always been a borderline fucking troll this entire time, but bro, come on. Even to the point where he's gonna be like, hey, we're gonna tranquilize Mars, stone that motherfucker, and bring him back when necessary, and we got him. <laughs> Sinku with the master plan, that much isn't new. And, ladies and gentlemen, has this become death note? Music was talking about how, you know, normal people in Japan came for carry guns, and in death note, they talk about how it's Japan law that only policemen <laughs> can hold guns. Not really a death note reference, it just what made me think about it. Pretty sure other shows have said it before, right? I should come think of it, we're overseas now. Zinc is not even in Japan no more. <laughs> so also the land does not apply right now. The double entendre. This is where we bring up our ex-police officer. Kind of corrupt ex-police officer. Not really corrupt, but you know, Jojo shit. We got dude's name, shut up. But he was able to wield a gun before, and he knows how to shoot. Well, at least he knew how to shoot. Well, at least he relearned how to shoot. Just that I'm completely team Gin on this one, and Chrome for that matter, because the way he was going about it, just wanted to shoot some shit up. It just... <sighs> it's like we knew this guy was already on our side before he joined the Kingdom of Sides under the Kingdom of Might. He, he, we, we know this. It's just that, if it wasn't for Amaru is there to try to woo his, his, this man into it, it kind of felt like if it wasn't for that, it just could have gone the wrong way. Talking about how two Mons is on the group. We already got this guy and they're playing for themselves. You're telling me now we got a shooter that we can't trust to have our backs but gotta stand behind us? <laughs> Look at the armorist. She apparently got in hope now. Promising herself to people beating drums and shit. There's a lot of broken promises on the, the, the side of the... What, what, what we calling up? The white man team? What we calling that again? I forgot. Kingdom of Fuckboys. They try to kill Gingro. Fuck him. Gingro and Kukaku. Fuck him. Which brings us to, in my opinion, this episode's MVP. We have revived more of our strongest members, the powerful team. We went with Magma and Kiki. Kiki with some titties. But we also brought back Kingro. Man, we haven't seen him for a while. Kingro has been kind of chilling, which is not something I would, in hindsight, I would expect after seeing what he was, how he was going through season one. However, the trigger for him to take the spotlight again was pulled a few episodes ago, with them almost killing Ginro. When he came back, he immediately looked around and tried to see what was going on. Noticed Ginro wasn't there. And he was no, no less than relieved after hearing the news because when he seen Ginro wasn't there, he just immediately assumed the worst. But as we know, when it came to Ginro, pretty much everything but him actually died. This long below guy is actually outside, outside the door, trying to blow leaves. I live underneath stairs on the bottom floor. There's no leaves in front of my door. I've hated people this week. I've hated people this entire week. That was my train of thought, y'all. But yes, Kimo is indeed back in the game, taking the reins here. 
with the golden spear, the sun covered spear. And of course, when it came to this episode, there were a lot of people that had to kind of play their parts. We had the team, we have to make a team of hooded figures, so that'd be usually here I had to put in work. We enhanced the drone with Chrome was good ass ideas. Being the person that's going to drive drive this drone is X Gamer. We're using <laughs> the rest of the kingdom of power, not kingdom. The power, the power team is going to help pull in this drone once it gets the petrification it's a piece of science that's being used to stone everybody. Why was Magma in the background looking kind of crazy at that gun? Anybody else notice that? Magma, you just tried to betray us before. Like, nigga. Looking for us, we already went through the whole thing with the gun before we even brought his ass back. Otherwise, I would be like, right, bruh. It's always hard to trust our shooter, like. But yes, indeed, the master plan was indeed made. And then the time came for us to go at them. And... The odds are not in our favor. And not only was the original plan was for just for Mars and Homegirl to go over there. That girl has a long name, so it's okay. She immediately throws the patriarchation beam back, thinking the hooded soldiers are crazy. And that's when we do the plan. However, there's one guy out there that holds a huge grudge, just bringing everybody with him. And now we're just completely outnumbered. Instead of immediately throwing the thing, we're already got to get into our first battle because this guy wants to take on this all head on. Which, once again, presses Kimro to step up. Now, because this was a setup episode, moving on to, to the final battle, per se, and to the next episode that says Total War, which is going to pretty much start a war right now. To me, trying to predict what's going to happen next, honestly, it feels kind of stupid. So I will leave that part of that. However, I will say there's a handful of things we got to do there that wasn't brought up. This is indeed the final battle we have to go into. We have to deal with much more than just getting the petrification beam. First off, there's still getting more Kohaku that's petrified. There's the Spear Man, which on the lowest is Kiro's real target. White man's still stoned up top. We still got to figure out about that. Kind of like this being the final battle is what being advertised, but hopefully not. But anyways, we're going to let Dr. Stone tell that story. After three and a half seasons, they've been doing it pretty well. If you watch this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me. And I'll see y'all. Peace out. Subscribe to the spin move. Mm-hmm.